Hi guys, welcome to Abjada. So I observed one thing uh, while watching one of the videos of uh, the Net Ninja. So if you if you don't know, this guy does a lot of good videos of uh, web technologies. So subscribe to him. And not not particularly this video, but one of those videos, he had the same setup. Now if you observe, he switches to the browser and again switches back to the code by making an arrangement the browser and the VS code in such a way that he can easily switch between them with a mouse click. Now why would anyone do that right? So why would you switch like this? I used to do this on Windows when I was on Windows and at that time I did not know what a workspace is. So uh, I used to do this and then I switched to Linux and I started using Linux as I used to use Windows and uh, Linux would give me these workspace options by default uh, Linux and when I say Linux it's usually Ubuntu uh, it used to give me these workspaces maybe tiny four squares uh, on you know right next to the uh, start button or something but I never I used to disable it because I was having this idea of who would use it who would use another space very open applications right so then I started using tiling window managers like i3 and after using I mean I think I think that was one of the greatest discoveries for me and it saved me a lot of time and a lot of money I'll tell you how so I had this idea of having uh, two monitors one for the code on the left side maybe a vertical one and then one on the right which will show me uh, the output, usually web browser, uh, which shows the website. All right, uh, this is uh, usually how the setup will be for a web developer. Now with workspaces, it's pretty easy. I mean, I can I can do that without having two monitors. Um, I, I cannot have the vertical one though, but I can still have uh, two monitors. I'll show you how. Now this is my code. I have also enabled these uh, keys that show up now i mean when i click something uh, it's called screen keys it shows what key i pressed now i have this window for myself this entire space on the screen is for coding now if i go here this entire thing is for my website and if i go here and i have divided that into two and one of them is a is a terminal now this is how easy it is if you're using a tiling window manager and let me tell you about tiling window managers they are small really small and some of them are even less than 1 MB of uh, of their complete source code so and in that way if you're using a tiling window manager as your desktop environment uh, I don't know if you're familiar with desktop environment uh, but if you know them there are a number of desktop environments available for Linux and uh, most of them are heavy but tiling window managers are very light they they don't take much ram and also not uh, cpu intensive and you don't have to use your you know cpu or your ram for you know running the os it should be for the things you do right for the apps you run so it should be meant for that but that's what exactly happens while using a tiling window manager I don't know what OS you're on, maybe on Windows, uh, Mac or Linux, BSD or anything. Try Tiling Window Managers. I'm using i3. This is a, this is one of those easy to set up Tiling Window Managers and uh, it's uh, customizable as well. Uh, but the basic setup is good enough for me. And uh, if you observe, I have a bar at the bottom which shows some of the informations and most times you know, I wouldn't even need that. But I have kept it there. Um, this is this is a good one, and it doesn't occupy much space. And if it does, I can act actually, you know, I can always run uh, these things in full screen, and that will go away. So maybe Windows has tiling window managers. I don't know. Uh, I have stopped using Windows a long time ago, but you can find them. I mean, if you cannot go out from Windows to Linux, which I recommend, but if you cannot. Uh, try finding a tiling window manager which is available for Windows and uh, Mac has some kind of tiling window manager I think uh, you can use that 
so try it i think i have mentioned that in my website as well um so yeah let me know guys i mean if you have tried telling window managers and uh, how much you love it thank you bye bye